What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. Video transitions in DaVinci Resolve 15. First thing I'm going to do is get some video clips into my media pool by going to File, Import File and Import Media. I'm now going to move each video clip down to my timeline by left clicking on each video one at a time and dragging the mouse cursor down with the left mouse button down also until the video clip appears. I'm going to zoom out so that I can see myself dragging the second video clip down. If you are working on a similar project where you have two video clips that are separated, ensure that you have the snapping tool highlighted. It should be in white and not in grey like so. If it is in grey, just left click on it once so that it turns white. Left click on the video clips and drag them together. As you can see, the snapping tool helps join them together without doing it manually and risk cropping out part of another video by dragging it too far, for example, like so. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the gap between the two videos more. Next to Media Pool, left click on Effects Library. At the top of your list, you should see Audio Transitions. If you go down to the next section, this should be Video Transitions starting off with dissolve. I'm going to attempt to drag down the blur dissolve transition by left clicking, holding the mouse button down and dragging it down to where the gap is between the video clips. If I let go of the left mouse button, nothing's changed. The reason why we can't add a transition to this section here is because these are two individual video clips that are unedited. In order to get around this, once I'm happy with a selection of video clips together, I can hold control down on my keyboard, use command if you're a Mac user, and left click on each video clip so that they are highlighted in red like so. Then right click on any of the selected videos in red and go to new compound clip. The start time code number basically determines the duration value that will appear on your timeline once you insert this new clip from your media pool in future. So for example, if I change this to 5 seconds, this is the value that would appear at the start of the timeline on the left side of your interface here. But to avoid any confusion, since this is the only video clip in my file, I'm going to change this back to zero so that any time I drag this new video clip named Compound Clip 1 as default by DaVinci from my media pool, the timeline will always commence with the number zero. The number one on the left hand side here is simply a default value for the timeline in DaVinci Resolve. And this won't be affected by the two zeros on the left hand side here. I'm going to keep the clip name as it is here and left click on create and you can see that the gap between the two video clips is now gone as the two video clips are now merged together as one. If I left click and delete this video clip by pressing delete on my keyboard and in the media pool you can see that compound clip one has been saved along with my original clips and the timeline file. If I left click and drag the compound clip down you should see that the start of the video is 0, zero still and the whole merged file appears on your timeline. I'm going to use the selector mode tool still to left click and drag this to the beginning. Now what I want to do is to trim the part of the video where the mountain scenes changes to the firework clip. If I drag my indicator to the right Having just gone beyond the 30 second mark of the video, I'm now going to use my keyboard buttons J, K and L to now find the part of the video where the mounted scene changes to the firework clip. I'm currently holding down K and tapping L and you can see my indicator moving slightly to the right and the duration number incrementing also. So here it is. If I let go of K select the blade edit mode tool which I've talked about in a previous cutting and trimming tutorial left click on it and left click on the section where my indicator is to create an edit I'm going to zoom in go into the effects library the first option you should see at the top is audio transitions the next section will be the video transitions this time 
with the blur dissolve if I left click and drag it down to where the edit was just made you should see a highlighted section appearing that spreads across the end of the first video clip and the start of the second video clip I'm going to let go of my left mouse button this may be different to what you see on your own interface I have this view set up by going to the viewing options for the timeline above the actual timeline itself and choosing the middle option underneath clip view options the default one is the option on the right now left clicking on this transitional segment and inspector on the right hand side of the DaVinci interface you can see the whole transition properties appear Duration can be modified by typing in a number manually or using the selector mode arrow once more to change the duration. Notice how if you stretch on one side, the opposite side also changes, both increasing or decreasing. You can also change the number of frames, which will also automatically update the duration. What if you only wanted this transitional effect to be added to one video clip rather than having it spread across multiple video clips? If you go to the alignment section underneath transition, you can change it from center on edit to end on edit where it moves back to the end of the initial clip or bring it forward to the start of the subsequent video clip. Bear in mind that the end of the first video clip will contain no transitional effect at all as you can see here on this preview window. For now, I'm gonna place mine in the center. Should you make a mistake with your video transition selection in the effects library menu, you can always change that next to video transition style using a range of options. I'll go through a few more in this tutorial. As you can see on my blur dissolve, the image has been stretched horizontally and this is due to the property below the transition box underneath blur dissolve. If I decrease the horizontal strength, now you can see the original image appearing which isn't as stretched as it was when I initially inserted the transition effect. I'm going to keep it at a maximum first of all. Should you want the blur effect to be vertical instead, the option is here view to increase that also and I've now created a balanced effect where the blur effect stretches both ways. A whole transitional phase in DaVinci Resolve is represented with the number range 0 to 100. The number 0 represents the start of the transition and the number 100 represents the end. The number 50 represents the halfway point of the transition basically meaning that we are halfway through a blur dissolve effect once the number 50 is reached. Here is an example of how this particular blur dissolve effect will appear with the start ratio at 0 and end ratio at 100 using a 3 second video. As the clip plays there is a slight fade to black in the middle which then fades in to the new fireworks clip. If I were to change the start ratio to 50, you can see that the fade to black, which was originally at the halfway point of this transition, has been brought back to the start of the transition. Using my K, J and L buttons here to demonstrate, you can see that the potential problem with this is that when you go from a normal video clip to a transition the faint black appearance shows up quite abruptly and there's no smooth transition to this as we've basically fast forwarded to the halfway point of this transition so that it appears right at the beginning from the initial clips crossover to the fireworks video the transition ends normally and smoothly with the end ratio at 100 however if the start ratio is put back to its default value of zero and the end ratio is put to 50 you can see that the second half of this transition features a delayed fade in effect to the subsequent firework clip as the start of the fade has been pushed forward from the middle of the transition towards the end hence why it remains dark earlier at the start of the fireworks clip here 
What if we wanted to invert these ratios, for example, start ratio to 100 and end ratio to 0? Obviously, there has been a demonstration of how that is done manually, but if these default values were already showing like so, and if you ticked reverse, what this has done now has made the start of the transition show a black screen as the fade to black which initially occurred as we got closer towards the halfway point has now been switched over to the beginning so that it fades in to the remainder of the mountain clip instead and likewise in the firework clip we start off by seeing a blurred set of fireworks going off and then eventually fades to black by the end of the transition before it was going from black at the halfway point and fading in to the fireworks scene basically the other way around again a potential problem with this is how smooth the transition appears at first you have a black screen which then abruptly changes to a set of fireworks appearing like so so in this case here to ensure a smooth transition from the mountains clip to the fireworks clip I'm going to untick reverse to remove a transition at any time simply right click and choose delete or left click on the transition on your timeline and press delete on your keyboard returning back to the effects library if you scroll down from dissolve you can see various other categories of transitions going all the way down to user and wipe for this next example I'm going to refer to the iris section and use hexagon iris if you left click and drag this down like we did with the previous dissolve transition you should see this appear across the edit made of the video clip earlier in this tutorial let go of the left mouse button once it's on the edit where you want the transition to go to make this hexagon more significant I'm going to left click on the color section and change to green click OK if I drag my indicator over the transition section you should see the hexagonal shape appear on screen increasing the number on border will make the border much greater I'm going to use a more slim border by changing it to 10 manually press enter when you're done should you want the actual transition appearing on a different part of the screen use X to move horizontally minus number moves the shape to the left bear in mind here as you can see the actual position of the next video clip will stay where it is using a positive number in the X section will move the shape right this can be applied to various other transitions such as the pentagon and triangle choices available from the effects library also changing the number in the Y box to a negative one will shift the shape upwards and obviously increasing the number will move the shape down left click on the curled arrow to the side to reset your adjustments at any time at present the feather box is unticked if I lift click on it there doesn't appear to be too much change apart from the border disappearing this is due to the fact that the feather creates a blur effect around the actual border of the shape if I increase the border size and drag my indicator to the right slightly you can see a faint border appearing around the pentagon the greater the number with the feather box ticked the greater the blur effect that will appear around the shape if I untick feather then my original border will appear again I'm going to put this back to 10 the ease tool refers to how quick a particular transition will run at a particular time at present if I play the video in a sample preview which includes a three second transition you can see that the speed of the zoom effect on the hexagon is consistent throughout the whole clip if we were to choose ease in the appearance of the hexagon will be much slower at the start however we change this to ease out the speed in which the hexagon appears at the beginning is much quicker and eventually slows down as it gets towards the end of the transition 
and ease in and out will ensure that the beginning and the ending of the transition is slow whereas the speed of the zoom effect on the hexagon is much quicker in the middle it increases as it gets to the middle and the velocity decreases as it goes into the new video clip here what if we wanted to customize the speed in which the transition effect occurs if you go to the custom option in ease when I drag my indicator to the middle between these two video clips you can see that the hexagon picture remains but the image of the mountains in the background has disappeared and we're left with a black void surrounding the hexagon which may spoil the look of your video how can we ensure that the image of the mountains remains within the video using the ease tool since my indicator is positioned just after the end of the mountain clips I would expect to see on screen the whole firework setting and in order to do this I'm going to refer to the transition curve which you can see underneath ease like what we saw with the start and end ratio number range from 0 to 100 early on in this tutorial the transitional curve for this particular transition option here of the hexagon iris has a start and end path represented by zero which is for the beginning and one for the end at the moment it's almost halfway close to 0 0.5 what we need to do to ensure that the whole screen displays the fireworks scene is to increase this number here to one so that the transition has ended and there's no black section left on the screen here what I can do is left click in the number box and drag that up to one manually or you can type in the number yourself so that 1.000 appears you can see that you're customizing the transition curve effect as the diamond on the right here is in red you can see this time that we always have either the mountain or the firework video clips on screen or both the preset of the hex can, can also be manipulated by selecting an option here hex can rotate thank you very much for watching i hope that video was useful to you to support this channel please like and subscribe join me soon for another video take care